Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. This is a message for anyone who's been asking for a sign. May this video serve you as an answer to your question. Firstly, I want to remind you that all your prayers are being answered, but sometimes they don't come to you immediately. Sometimes they don't come to you because the universe is actually protecting you from certain energies and preparing you for the next stage where all your prayers can be answered. Sometimes the universe is saying to you to show up your new vibration and it will show you new miracles. Sometimes you need to remind yourself that it's important to release the old energy to stop repeating patterns and start acting out more of playfulness more of curiosity for something you wanted to do and in order to achieve this kind of a state it's like childlike state of playfulness you need to notice that if you don't feel it, it means that you're still identifying yourself with something from the past, with the old energy from the past. And imagine your energy body as a river because the energy flow inside of your body is constantly in motion. It's constantly streaming. It's not limited to your body. It's streaming through your energy systems, like from the root system into the core of the earth and from your crown energy center into the center of the source, the cosmos, the universe. And it's constantly streaming to you. And all you need to do is just allow this stream to kind of release, to take with it what is no longer serving you. And the easiest way to do it is to stop identifying with it. Feel it. Notice it. But release it. To release something, it's not really an act of releasing. It's just letting go, you know. If you imagine holding something in your hand, what you do, you just relax the muscles. That's the, the only act of releasing is to relax the muscles. And if you pay attention to your body where you sometimes sense certain type of attention or certain type of a lower emotion, you will notice also muscles around that area are more tense. They're maybe more squeezed. There's some pain in the body. And what you're really asked to do is to notice that part of you because if it was there for a long time, it may feel to you like something natural like this is just natural for you to feel this type of a pain or to feel this type of attention but it's not it's you know you just got used to it the truth is that you can release it you can take time in a day and keep releasing it we all have certain tensions we all have certain type of store the energies and more we are releasing them more we start to feel lighter and more fluid and what happens when we become more fluid we become more aware of other senses of other insights and intuitive realizations that may be hitting us we start to become more aware of the energy we start to sense energy more deeply more precisely to more details and if we are well grounded let's say if you're able to notice the core that is attaching you to the core of the earth from your root center. You can also use a practice where you're seeing this cord. You can expand it to the size of your body. It will help you to stabilize yourself and to really feel grounded and quite stabilized. And when you achieve this, this type of a state of clarity and stability, you will notice that um, with that same attitude, you can ground your intentions, you can ground your visions, you can ground your desires, 
into your reality and attach cords to them into your reality into the core of the earth you can imagine like something you want is just coming into your life and now attach that cord into the center of the earth from your reality from your space your known space and it will help you to notice that you can actually design your reality from this imaginative state where you're just connecting streams connecting chords where things can then align in your life the way that through synchronistic events you will come across open doors and right people that will introduce you to opportunities and possibilities where all of that can happen almost effortlessly so that's how you start making a change in your vibrational field so it's because you've started doing something differently and more you do something that's really aligned with your soul energy it's often filled as it um, recharges you it kind of increases your energy you know when you have for example a really inspiring conversation with someone after that you feel more empowered you feel more recharged in physics it's called the constructive interference where same frequencies come together and the amplitude of that fre frequency doubles that's why two plus two is four because if one number demonstrates a certain specific frequency when you put these two numbers together you get double size of that frequency which is four and that's what happens when you start doing more of what is truly aligned with your soul vibration you start noticing okay more i'm doing that more my energy is rising so let's do more of what truly aligns with me and soon you start to notice in your life that there's just more and more and more of these deep desires for doing something that aligns with you and soon you will notice where well, there's also more and more and more things more of this kind of a knowing what you don't want to do anymore which requires a great sense of awareness a great um, sense of listening like you really need to listen to yourself and be honest with yourself in order to create your life um, in a desired way and sure this desired way is not um, what we know from the past like um, certain mental desires where you've seen someone with um, something and then soon you want to have something like that as well it's more known as pendulums like pendulums are kind of energy entities that produce certain amount of magnetism around something that is interesting to people and soon as you become quite influenced by it you start to think same way as everybody else who has been influenced by it for example if you're uh, enthusiastic about certain sport and let's say so many people that you know are already doing that sport you will soon start to think feel and behave same way as those people that are already in that sport it's a pendulum that is feeding that sport and as soon as you become part of it it starts feeding off your energy that's how this pendulum sur pendulums survive but what's the process here of your evolution is to become more independent of these pendulums that may serve us as a great distraction and become quite your own pendulum that has your own frequency that has your own desires that are more on a soul level those are the ones that are really fulfilling you and every time you're following them magic is happening in your life synchronicities are constantly leading you into the right way right events happen at the right time right people come at the right time and everything just feels like um, it's all meant to be so important uh, skill needs to be learned when you start walking this kind of a path like really acting on your own soul desires is trusting and and listening these are two most important skills like even when it doesn't seem like it is happening you need to trust that it is happening 
And when you see that it's happening, be grateful for it because through gratitude you show a sign to the field, to the source that this is what you wanted, this is the right thing and it's happening and you're grateful for it and it will just, you know, notice, okay, this is what you want and it will start producing more of this type of similar effects in a bigger wave or waves. And it's important to understand this process when it comes to reality creation because you've asked for it. You're constantly asking for it. And the universe is only saying, show me a new frequency, show me a new vibration and I will show you miracles. Because really, can you do a tiny little change today? And another one tomorrow, and another one tomorrow, and another one tomorrow that will reflect on your energy field in a way that the change will be felt, it will be seen. And many times you're wondering what does it mean? And it means, can you apply some new thoughts today? Can you let go of some old limitations today? Can you do things a little bit differently? Can you try something you've been afraid before? Can you test your skills? Can you challenge yourself a little bit more? Can you step outside of this known familiar zone a little bit more today? Can you be a little bit more honest today? Can you be a little bit more truthful today? Can you believe in yourself a little bit more today? Can you trust the process a little bit more today? In other words, can you worry a little bit less today? Can you learn to understand when to trust your analytical mind and when to trust your intuition? Let's say these are two opposites. Your analytical mind is important when you're structuring patterns. But when you're searching for answers, analytical mind is not often helpful. It's helpful when you're doing researches, reading books and and organizing information that you've learned. But sometimes it comes more into finding answers that are completely unknown to you and you don't know where to look for them. Through an analytical mind, it can take you days or even months or sometimes even years to come to the right answers and solutions. While intuition can give you the right one in a few minutes. The problem often is, or let's say a challenge for many people, that they look for answers same way as they look for physical objects or material things. We're used to live in this physical reality the way that when we've lost something, when we've lost a material object, we go around and look for it, we search it, we move things, we walk from one place to another through space and time and that's how we are used to search something. But when it comes to insights and answers, those are on an energy level and on energy level things work much differently. On energy level there is no separation, nothing is hidden, everything already exists in this moment, which means that when you let go of analyzing and trying to figure it out, you open up for what needs to find you, what's meant to find you. That's how an energy level patterns work. So when you need an answer that can't be found right now through your analytical mind, you need to learn to shut off your analytical mind. And that's how you turn on the voice of your intuition. And the voice of your intuition is kind of the compass of your inner wisdom. It's the compass of your soul. And through intuition, it's like, having a constant conversation with the universe. It's like the chat on the phone, right? You're constantly in contact with it. And only when you're willing to hear it, it's like now you're online and now you can receive the answer. So you can imagine like sometimes for people help that they have this, they can visualize the, the switch button where they can turn off the analytical mind. You can visualize it, how you're turning off the analytical mind. And as you're visualizing it, you can notice the difference in your body. You can notice that you feel more relaxed. You can notice a sensation of peace in your body, a sensation of calmness and groundedness. 
and as you feel more and more and more relaxed, what you will also notice that will happen is that you suddenly become much, much more aware. You become more, more aware of the energy in your body. And as you become more aware of the energy in your body, it's important to really notice what kind of energy you feel. Is this a stressful energy? Is this a blissful energy? Is this more a chaotic one? And if it's chaotic, it just needs time to settle, like a water. It just needs time to settle. Like if there's a lot of wind on, on the seaside, there will be many waves. But then when the wind stops, these waves will need some time and the water will become more calm. So that's how also energy works. It was disturbed by too much of thinking, too much of doing something, too much of constant trying of figuring out. That's the stress in the body. Too much of impulses. All it needs is time. That's why meditation is all about sitting there with yourself, being there for yourself. And if you are able to really lower down the volume of your analytical mind, at some point this energy will settle and it will become quite coherent. The nature of your soul is coherent. So once you understand that, you know that if you will sit there for enough time, you will become coherent, you will become aligned. And when you become aligned, all you need is an intention. When you have clear intention, the answer will just appear. If it will not appear, it's still because you're trying to notice it. You're trying hard and trying is not working. You just need to let go. But the good thing is that if you still don't or are not able, if you're still not able to let go, to surrender completely, the intention was still heard because your energy was coherent. And therefore the answer is now coming to you. It will come to you through a synchronicity. It will come to you through interesting events. Like maybe this video may be an answer for you. Then maybe all you really need right now is just to slow down a little bit. Just to slow down a little bit and understand that if you do what you've done before, you will only get what you've always gotten, right? So it is only reminding you, okay, right now, from this moment on, I can walk as a different me. I can walk as a new me. And it just means I will leave a part of my worrying behind. I will leave 1% of my fears behind, which is so little that it will be hardly to notice. But in 100 days, it's 100%, right? So it's little by little, tiny little steps. It will also help you to not be so hard on yourself because it's better if you make tiny little changes every single day that are hardly noticeable. On a long term, they will become huge. So know, my friend, that if you really want to become a healer or a manifester or an artist or whoever you choose to be, Firstly, you need to experience the opposite of it. So you learn to become it, right? That's usually how the universe is slowly forming you and shaping you and helping you to become who you came here to be. It's often for many healers, they needed to be shattered. They needed to be broken or they needed to go through incredible pain like for example, this story of Dr. Joe Dispenza, an incredible healer today. He went through a very painful accident. And I know that most probably you know someone in your life that has been through something like that. And today he is in a, or she is a, in a position of a healer. I know some people and they all have been through something painful. Even I have been through something very challenging and, and scary at that time so today I can do what I'm doing and it's just a certain type of activation that happens and 
when we notice that actually we are in a phase of this kind of activation where we're going through the darkest phase of our lives, we need to see it as a phase of preparation. And some of you are actually already mastering all of these skills and maybe still just need some confirmation that you're doing it right. See if um, you can find this moment of quietness within yourself. Just think about how this idea of who you're choosing to become feels like in this moment. And if it feels right, if it speaks to you, if it resonates with you, then you know that you're on the right path, my friend. I hope you found something valuable today. I will leave you here. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, and power. And I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting as well. To anyone who would like to get a print of it, go and check out our store, attractpassion.com, where you can find all of my art, prints of my art in different sizes. Check it out. And to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can book a calling on the link in the description and I'm excited to meet you. <laughs> My friends, till next time, one love.